To many, it seems like these two bikes do pretty much the same thing. But do they really? Let's talk about it. I'm lucky enough to get to own, test, and ride a lot of bikes. One of the things I like to do the most is get a lot of hands-on time with what I like to call entry-level bikes. Now, some people get offended and say, oh, I'm, not an, I'm not a beginner, uh, but I ride this bike. It's good for experienced riders too. Exactly. That's why I say entry level, because if you're a new rider, this bike will not throw more at you than you can handle. But that doesn't mean that you can't also have a lot of fun with it when you're a more experienced rider. Here I am sitting between both of them as a more experienced rider. Admittedly, they do a lot of the same things, but the one that makes the most sense for you depends a lot on the type of riding you plan on doing most. Let's take a deep dive and compare these two great entry level ADV bikes. First, similarities. These two bikes have a lot in common. They're both relatively inexpensive, beginner-friendly bikes that can do both on and off-road. That seems obvious. They have rock-solid reliability owing to their Honda-ness. They both can take a beating. I know from experience. I've watched the rental fleet that uh, Ride Adventures has of 500Xs just get beaten day in and day out in Mexico, in Central Oregon, all over the place, and these things take a licking and keep on ticking. And over here on the rally side, I know that Eddie, whom I bought this from, did not treat this bike gently, and neither have I. It's been down quite a few times, and every time I just pick it up, turn the key, and it just keeps going. So these bikes are rock solid and can take a lot of hits and just keep going. I know that from experience. They both get great gas mileage like any motorcycle. They're super cheap to own and maintain. Maintenance requirements are minimal. They're very easy to ride bikes. Both are very forgiving of mistakes and lack the power to really get you in trouble if you make a big mistake. That's the thing that strikes me the most about getting on these bikes versus some of the other bikes I own is I can shut my brain off and just ride. I don't have to think about or concentrate on riding as much because they're very forgiving, easy to ride bikes. And that's why I think they make great bikes for beginners personally. The aftermarket for both is fantastic. There's a ton of parts out there, probably more for the rally, but there's a lots of things you can add to this 500X to make it more off-road capable or add luggage and tour across the country, whatever you want to do. There are tons of people out there that own both, so there's lots of people to ask if you have questions or want to know about mods, advice, things like that. There's all kinds of groups on Facebook and elsewhere. And they both have what I would call squishy suspension. That's definitely a notorious weak point of the Honda bikes, especially the lower end bikes. That makes for a much more comfortable road ride, but will not do you any favors off-road. Those are the things they have in common. Common. Let's talk about the differences. Let's talk about what each bike does better than the other one. Let's talk about what the Rally does better. Uh, it's a far more capable off-road bike. Why? Because it has more ground clearance, almost two and a half times, more suspension travel, twice as much as the 500X, and has a 21-inch front wheel, you can only get a 19 on the 500X and a 17 if you get one of the early years, which is not good. It has spoked wheels. The 500X has cast wheels. There are far more tire options with the 2118 on the Rally than there are with the 1917 on the 500X. The resale value on the Rally seems to be a lot higher right now, owing to the fact that they're a little bit harder to find, although I think that's changing. The Rally is a cheaper bike, doesn't cost as much, and it's just easier to throw around on the trail, put where you need it to be, and move around the garage. It's just lighter, less less unwieldy, less likely to tip over or be difficult to move. So a lot of advantages there for the 300L, but it's not the clear favorite because the 500X also does a lot of things better than the 300L Rally does. The CB500X excels on the street. It has better highway speeds, far more comfortable on the highway, less vibrate -y. It's also heavier, so you don't get blown around when a semi goes by like you do on a dual sport, light dual sport like the 300L here. It has a lower seat height, longer fuel range. It's far better for long road trips. And if you don't believe me, there's a ton of media out there from our friend, the Graceful Renegade, who has ridden hers all over the country, from Amanda Zitto, who has ridden hers across the country and back. This is a bike that can take you from one end of the country or one end of the continent to the other and you'll be okay comfortable enough on the highway in a way that the rally i wouldn't want to do those long stints on the highway if i could avoid it personally it's got better wind protection the tires are better on the street from the beginning the stock tires the one advantage of the rally i forgot to mention is it's much easier to just hop on and go right on a trail like take it off-road immediately because at least the stock tires are kind of okay for off-road they're definitely just street tires here on the 500x and overall the 500x is just easy to ride now this is hard to explain and kind of esoteric, but like when I think about running to the store or running to the next town over or whatever, the 500X is the first bike that comes to mind. It's easy to get my leg over. It's easy to just ride without thinking. It's just very comfortable. 
forgiving. It's just smooth. It's just a very, very easy motorcycle to ride, but it's still fun in a way that the 300L is a little bit harder to ride, a little bit less comfortable. Uh, it's not uncomfortable or difficult to ride. It's just not the smooth, easy, I don't have to think about it experience that the 500X is. So those are the major differences between these two bikes, but really, which one should you pick? That's the question. I'm assuming why you clicked on this video. Well, I love both of these bikes. I really do particularly for new riders. I think they're both super underrated and capable of a ton of things and are probably the best entry-level ADV bikes on the market. When you factor in ease of riding, low cost, and Honda reliability, it's hard to beat these two bikes. They're also great at the types of adventures that new riders go on. Everyone likes to harp on the lack of suspension travel on the 500X or the squishy suspension on the rally, but if you're a new rider, you're not out there taking on black diamond trails and jumping tabletops in an MX track, right? You're riding out to the gravel road, riding up to a campsite, enjoying yourself, having those kinds of adventures, and they're both fabulous for that. You can't go wrong either way, in my opinion, if that's the kind of thing you want to do. Both bike does all the things, but each does certain things slightly better, so which one you get kind of depends on what you plan on doing most. If you're never going to hit a trail or a super abandoned logging road, something with a ton of rain ruts and embedded rocks, you could do the 500X. If you're going to ride a lot of highway, take the 500X. If you want to just be able to get places comfortably and handle a gravel road or two along the way or at the end, 500X, more than capable, great bike for that. And, and bonus, it's much easier for riding around town and doing your day-to-day -day riding. If you want to hit OHV trails or explore more difficult terrain, whether at the beginning or eventually, the rally is the way to go. If you want to feel like you can tackle whatever the track throws at you so you can handle the unexpected, you're going out somewhere you don't know what's really going to be there, but you want to know you can take on anything that there is, the rally is the better bike for that. If you want the more capable off-road bike of the two and you see road riding as a necessary evil, that's kind of how I view it in most cases. I ride on the road to get off-road. I don't necessarily set out to spend hours on the road. The Rally is a better bike for you. If you're a commuter who wants a bike to go explore on the weekends, either bike works, but the 500X is going to be more comfortable and easier to ride for your day-to-day -day riding. So I would say in that scenario, it depends on how far you have to go to get to the woods. The 500X is my favorite bike to just hop on and run to the store the next town over. Everything about it is easy and it rides like a dream. The Rally is a bike I want to be on when I'm off-road and I don't know what's coming. I'm very confident on it and with a suspension upgrade, there are a few places I wouldn't take it. It'll go just about anywhere, just not fast in most cases. Other than hours down the freeway, I would probably avoid that. So so ultimate conclusion, too long didn't read. What's the bottom line? It's this. If you're gonna be on the highway or the road more than 50% of the time, get the 500X. If you're gonna be off-road more than 50% of the time or just wanna know you can tackle whatever comes, no matter how difficult, uh, you're a lot better off on the rally with the double suspension travel and ground clearance. Fortunately, you can't really go wrong with either bike. I love them both. They both get my highest recommendation and really the thing to do if if the 50% one way or the other hasn't made the decision for you, it's go ride both of them and see which one feels like. I always recommend that. Don't take the word of some random dipshit on the internet. Go ride both bikes if you can, and the one that feels right, that's the one to go with. The best bike to ride is the bike that you have. Get the one that you're gonna feel most confident on, and you can't go wrong either way, because they're both rock solid, incredibly dependable motorcycles. One just happens to be more off-road capable, and one just happens to be more on-road capable. I have a full playlist on both of these bikes, which I will link for you. I've got a 300L Rally playlist, a bunch of videos there, both riding and mods and things like that. I have a 500X playlist with a bunch of riding mods, things like that. I will link those for you check them out in the description and they should be popping up here but for now and as always i just want to say thank you very much for watching and please do not forget to be excellent to each other i thank you excellent <laughs>